Well, we thought we'd heard the last of Leeds United's season of woe after they escaped relegation from the Premier League. But the new chairman today opened a whole new can of worms. Yes, Professor John McKenzie revealed a list of examples of what he called the club's indulgent spending, ranging from nearly £6 million in payoffs for managers David O'Leary and Terry Venables, to £20 a month for the chairman's goldfish. I'll be talking to an outraged shareholder in a moment, but first Mark Duffel fills in the details. Everyone knew the purse strings at Leeds United could have been kept tighter in recent years, and the £80 million debt showed that. But the extravagance behind the scenes at Elland Road has finally been laid bare. New chairman John McKenzie found that £600,000 was being spent on 70 company cars. 70000 went on private jets for directors. Nearly £6 million was paid in compensation to former bosses David O'Leary and Terry Venables. And even the pets cost money. A rented goldfish for the chairman's office cost a fiver a week. It's now been rehoused. But still the spending goes on. Robbie Fowler's still picking up half a million pounds a year from Leeds, even though he now plays for Manchester City. No wonder new boss Peter Reid's been told money is now tight. Well, with me now is Bill Gerard, who's uh, an expert on football finance and a Leeds uh, shareholder. Uh, some of these uh, figures are absolutely disgusting. Which is, the, which is the one that really rattles your cage? Well, I think um, certainly the, the continuing expenditure on Robbie Fowler. He was a player who, admittedly, England international, great record, but he was a player who wasn't really needed at the time. He cost us £12 million, we offloaded him for £3 million and we're still having to, to pick up the tab for the 10000 a week that he's earning less at Manchester City and we have to pick that tab up for three and a half years. It's just extravagance on a huge scale. I wonder if there's a, a kind of uh, open agenda here because suddenly everything's coming out into the open. Are Leeds fans being prepared for the reasons for selling the Duca, Kuehl, Robinson perhaps? In other words, it's not our fault, mate, it's somebody else's. I suspect that really is the agenda here, that the club has been very transparent today and, and put in, into the public domain the extent of the financial extravagance and financial mismanagement under Peter Ridsdale's regime. And I think they're pointing the way that if hard decisions have to be made in the next few months, we all know where the finger of responsibility is being pointed to, quite clearly at Peter Ridsdale. Eddie Gray, of course, uh, went last week. Many Leeds fans were very, very mm. upset uh, about yeah. that. But, I mean, how will Leeds fans generally react, do you think, t to these? Will they just continue to support the club or will some of them turn around and say, I don't want to be part of this, this is wrong? Oh, I think uh, Leeds United fans will remain Leeds United fans. I think there's almost uh, you know, an, a, an acceptance of this. They know uh, things have, have been badly wrong. And I think today what we've had put before us just confirms a lot of things that were already being rumoured. Can I just ask you one, one final point, but if I may, about Ridsdale. Uh, was it Ridsdale's decision to do all these things or has someone given him permission to do it? He was chairman of the PLC. He was chairman of the football club. He was the chief executive. He bears most of the responsibility of the mess that Leeds United is now in. Bill Gerrard, thank you very much indeed.